Beauty supermodel who became known as the body as she graced the covers of Sports Illustrated and then went on to build a quite successful career in business. Now in her 50s, Elle McPherson still looks fabulous and remains a very proud Australian. Richard Wilkins caught up with her on Derby Day. Elle McPherson, it's lovely to see you. My good friend, Richard. How long since you were in Australia? Uh, let me think. I was here in April. Oh, were you? Yeah, so not that long ago. So you sneak in and out sometimes? I sneak in and out. I was here for business and also a really good friend of mine's wedding. I brought my son back, my youngest son who's 15. How are the boys? Growing. Flynn's 21, Flynn, a size 15. They're good boys. I'm so blessed, man. <laughs> Well, you were lucky. We're, we're all lucky when we've got gorgeous kids. One of mine's over there somewhere. But, um, you know, it's, it's great when we get to share the lovely things in life with our beautiful family, isn't it? Well, I think it's also great when they work for the lovely things in their own life. Um, you know, there's a fine line in parenting between sort of giving them what you wish you had as a child or what you wanted as a child or what you did have as a child. In many cases, it's me sharing, you know, the things that my parents shared, shared with me, but also making sure that they take the time to go on their own journeys and learn for themselves through their own experience. And it's a fine line between, you know, spoiling them rotten because you can. Yes. You know, you can fly them all around the world in private planes and do all that. But you also want them to grow up knowing the value of a dollar. The value, and the value of themselves. Someone wise once said to me, the most uh, valuable thing you can give your children is your time. And that's something that I've abided by. I also think it's really important that uh, kids get a chance to have their own experiences and they learn from their experiences. And so I encourage my kids to do a variety of things. Whatever interests them, I encourage them to do it. They don't have to make that choice for the rest of their life. but. It's something that they can, you know, get to know themselves through, you know, through exploring. One of the many things I, I love about you and respect about you is you keep yourself to yourself. You know, you, you, you do what you want to do when you want to do it. You work hard. We've known each other. For a long time, 35 30. years. I was going to go with 30, but yeah. 35. And you've wor you work so hard. You've worked so hard to get where you are, haven't you? Well, it hasn't felt like work. I mean, somebody once said, if you do what you love and love what you do, then you never work another day in your life. And to be fair, recently, because particularly the last you know, years, especially with the birth of Welco, I so love what I'm doing, it doesn't feel like work. It's very aligned with who I am as a person, and so if I, I encourage the boys to find what they love so that their work doesn't feel like a slog. Hey, so what else are you doing when you're here? Catching up with friends? I'm catching up with friends. I'm working with Welco next week. I'm really excited. We have a new launch of some products that I'm so excited to share pe with people and I'll be doing that next week. You're here in the Lexus Marquee looking yeah. at all the, that's quite a cool color actually. Do you know this, this car, the new SUV was designed by a woman engineer? You've been reading your briefing notes again, haven't no, you? No, I was, I, I was actually really excited because I'm totally for uh, supporting women in business. And I think the fact that, that this is the first time a woman engineer has designed a car, I, just was, I thought that was really interesting and worth sharing. You are a woman in business. You're blazing your own trail. You have been for many years. You must be very proud of what you've achieved and who you are. I'm proud of being Australian. I know, I know that sounds like a really kind of um, glib line, but I feel that my Australian heritage has given me the backbone and the foundation for the character values that I have that have helped me grow my life, which is, you know, authenticity, true blue, trust, um, honesty, quality. You know, they're, they're very Australian values. They are indeed. Have a great time here at the races. Thank you. You staying till Christmas or anything wacky like that? I wish. I wish. <laughs> but I will be back.